Welcome back to Ozarks Fox. The use of fire in the Amazon has now been banned by the Brazilian president in response to massive fires throughout the rainforest in the past few weeks. Burning is a common practice among farmers to free up land for crops or livestock. Critics say the president's pro-development policies encouraged farmers to burn the rainforest, but the administration insisted the fires were at normal levels. Brazil's Space Research Center said the number of fires in Brazil are 80 percent higher than last year. More than half are in the Amazon region, and 99 percent of those fires resulted from human actions either on purpose or by accident. Outrage all over the world kept this conversation going for weeks now. And to Tonight, we are talking to Dr. Alexander Waite. He is a professor at Missouri State University. He has taught and carried out some research in the Amazon rainforest in Ecuador. And now you teach conservation biology, plant ecology, and plant physiology at MSU. Dr. Waite, thank you so much for being here with us. You're very welcome. Thank you. So let's talk about the Amazon. You have done some research in Ecuador yes. um, in the rainforest. First of all, why should we care about the Amazon here in Missouri? Uh, we should care because the, the Amazon contributes to about 30% of the global carbon cycle. So the Amazon, tropical rainforests cover about 4% of the Earth's surface, you know, 70% is ocean. So tropical forests are 4%, yet they fix 30% of the carbon dioxide. That means that in every year they take up 30% of of all the carbon that's fixed on the earth. And so through photosynthesis, they're taking carbon dioxide and they're converting it to the organic matter. Is that because of the types of plants that there are in the Amazon? It's, it's the amount of plants. Okay. It's, it's the amount of plants, the fact that, well, Ecuador's on the equator, so there you have 12 hour days, 12 hour nights. But, so it's warm and wet. And so while they do have a wet season and a dry season, um, photosynthesis is occurring 365 days a year. Wow. Where here in the Ozarks, once we get to winter, the plants are no longer photosynthesizing, so there's not carbon uptake. Because it's warm and wet as opposed to other areas like the Ozarks or California, Australia, that is, that is drier. Yes. And so, you know, they don't, have, they don't have a fall where their leaves all fall off. Now, the, few, the leaves are continually falling off of the deciduous trees. But it's not like you have, you know, summer where it's all green and then winter it's not green. It's, so it's always green. Always green, which means the plants are always photosynthesizing. So they're always taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, converting it into organic matter. Now, as we have seen coverage about the fires in the Amazon, one thing we have heard a lot is the Amazon forest produces about 20% of the world's oxygen, which you said is incorrect. So yeah. not 20% and it's not the planet's lungs? Correct. I don't use a lot of analogies when I teach. Analogies can, can um, be very misleading. The atmosphere is about 21% oxygen. And the reason that it is 21% oxygen is over geological time, plants have produced that oxygen. But a given plant is going to take up as much oxygen, or sorry, it's gonna release as much oxygen as it uses. So it's a net zero. Mm -hmm. So we, plants are photosynthesizing, but then they're respiring. What is the impact that the Amazon has on climate change and what would be the impact if we lost most of it or part of it. So if you lost the Brazilian rainforests, you would lose 20% of the total carbon that's fixed in a given year. Another way to look at, at that carbon fixation, so you're, you're taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, you're converting it into an organic matter. So you go from a gas to an organic matter. That 4% of land worldwide, or it's about 2% in that part of the world, you're losing the ability of the earth to take up carbon and fix it and sequester it. And what does that mean for us personally, whether we are there in Brazil or here in the Ozarks? It's kind of hard to, to think about the impact of the burning of the tropical forests here in Missouri because we're not going to be impacted by smoke. We're not going to see a change in our weather patterns. Um, but globally, we. It, 
less carbon will be taken out of the atmosphere, so the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere could go up faster than it already is. If we lose a, a part of the Amazon, if we lose all of these plants, is this something that can be fixed? Um, I've read that, that some people will, will say that the, the rainforest is resilient, um, and but it's, it's, it's resilient to the weather patterns that it's evolved in, which is lots of rain. So fire is not a part of a rainforest. If you think about a gra grassland or a prairie, you can burn and graze a grassland and a prairie, and it's very resilient. Actually, most of the action is occurring in the root systems. In a rainforest, if you just think about it, it's wet, very wet. So fires are not part of the system. You're not only burning a system that's, has, that the plants and the fungi and the animals have not evolved to be uh, resilient to. There's also a huge impact on the animals. I'm Dr. Wayne, thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with more right here on Ozark's Fox.